Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these strawberry and cream donuts. Let's begin. So to start on the dough you'll want to get yourself a mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place your bread flour along with the salt and give it a brief mix just to incorporate the two. You can then go ahead and start to add in the other ingredients which are the butter, the yeast, along with the egg, your water and your milk. Make sure the liquids are slightly warm before you add them into the bowl. You can then mix them on a low speed to start with and then after a couple of minutes you'll notice that a dough has formed. It may be a bit sticky but don't worry. Once you put it onto a floured surface and knead it for a bit it will be just fine. So don't forget to flour your surface and then just knead the dough until it's smooth and elasticated. And then you can transfer that into a bowl which has been lightly oiled and covered with cling film. So when your dough has proofed for the first time, you can remove the cling film from the top of the bowl and then place it down to a flowed surface and knock it back. This is just the process of removing the gases that built up during the first proof. Make sure you keep your dough covered and start to scale the dough up. So take your total ball of dough, weigh that and divide that by 10. So you'll have 10 perfectly sized doughnuts and then scale each amount of dough up to that size. And then you just want to round it off using the palm of your hand on a worktop. So once your donuts have finished their second proof and your oil is at the right temperature, you can place them in and fry them on each side for around a minute or until they are lightly golden brown, which is perfect. So for the whipped cream filling, you'll want to get yourself a large mixing bowl. I'm using my stand mixer bowl and pour in all of your double cream or heavy whipping cream, whatever it may be called where you are. You'll want to add some icing sugar, this is just to help stabilise it and sweeten it, along with some vanilla for flavour, and then start to whisk this up on a medium high speed, working your way up to a high speed, but be careful not to over whip the cream, otherwise it'll become granular, and then you're best just to start again. So once your donuts are fried and your fillings are in piping bags, make an incision on the side of the donut and then start to pipe in some of the cream along with the jam and then more of the cream and then you can give it a good coating in the sugar. Again, if some spurts out, don't worry, just wipe it away. I had a bit of tissue here so I could wipe it off, but you can do it with your finger. Once you've got all your donuts coated, you can then finish them off by piping a bit of cream on the incision that you made earlier on and top that with half a strawberry and voila, you are done. As you can tell here, I was struggling to make sure that the one donut stayed on the plate and the other one didn't fall down. And it still fell down and the cream came off along with the strawberry, so there you go. So you, then you can go ahead and cut into the donut, and as you can tell, it's got more filling than the store-brought ones that you can get. You've got a lot of the cream, a lot of the jam, which is perfect. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me, and I'll be back again next week with another video for you so join me then in the meanwhile don't forget to check out my blog my social medias and everything else i will leave all of that stuff linked in the description down below and until next time bye guys